One of the most highly anticipated events on the 2024 space calendar is the Artemis II mission. In November, it's slated to send these four astronauts, seen here at a launch demonstration event, on a 10-day lunar flyby. It'll be the final test mission before Artemis III sends humans back to the surface of the moon in 2025, for the first time in over half a century. The milestone program led by NASA involves six other space agencies, including Europe's ESA. It's also a stepping stone to bigger things. There is uh, certainly a good reason on one side, of course, technology has advanced uh, and we are exploring again uh, the universe. That means we, uh, we send astronauts uh, outside our uh, space station, our low Earth orbit. Um, and the moon is the obvious next uh, stop uh, on the way to Mars. Uh. India's successful Chandrayaan mission to the moon's south pole was just the first to an area where water has been detected. NASA's soil sample prospector Viper will head there next. And in May, China also plans to launch the Chang'e 6, a robotic exploration mission that, like its predecessor, the Chang'e 5, is designed to return samples of lunar soil and rock to Earth for the first time from the moon's far side. Visits to other moons in the solar system, like one that circles Mars, are also on the agenda in 2024. In September, Japan's space agency JAXA is heading to Phobos with a mission that will seek to collect a few grams of material from the red planet's larger moon. The following month will see the launch towards Jupiter of NASA's Europa Clipper mission. It'll try to pinpoint possible future landing sites on the Jovian satellite's surface and also gather data on its icy outer shell and the ocean suspected beneath it. Trips to asteroids are also planned for 2024. ESA's HERA mission will look at the two asteroids Didymos and Dimorphos. Back in 2022, NASA's DART spacecraft intentionally slammed into Dimorphos. That was a feasibility study into whether it's possible to deflect the course of near-Earth objects. With the aid of two helper satellites, HERA will examine the asteroid and nearby space in the aftermath of the DART collision. I mean, HERA is, is really a mission that focuses on planetary safety. That means uh, protecting our planet for objects that, that might hit our planet. And this is what uh, HERA will do because HERA is looking at the impact which the NASA DART mission had on uh, these asteroids and uh, see how, the, how this was affected. The moon looms large for every spacefaring nation in 2024, but it's just one destination in one of the most exciting years ever for space exploration.